What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Here is some exciting news for Samsung Galaxy phone users out there. Samsung has started rolling out a brand new update for Camera Assistant module from GoodLog, which brings in a couple of new features for the Galaxy S24 series and the predecessors. Let's go to the Galaxy store and check out the update section. As you can see here, there are a couple of updates here for clock, calculator, gaming hub, and here we have got the Camera Assistant module. Let me just tap on this. Now here, under what's new section, Supported model has been mentioned, One UI 7.0 or higher, which is S25 series and A56, One UI 6.1 or higher, S24 FE, S21 FE, A55, M53, Quantum 5. So this does support the A55 as well as the mid-range M series, specifically M53. Then we have got One UI 6.0 or higher, which includes many devices. S24, A73, A72, A54, A53, A52S, A52 5G, A52, M54, F54 and Quantum 2. And it also includes One UI 5.1 or higher, S23, S23 FE, S22, S21, S20, Note 20, F, uh, Fold 5, Fold 5, Fold 4, Flip 5, Fold 4, Flip 4, Fold 3, Flip 3, Fold 2 and Flip. So almost all the Galaxy devices have been included for this particular update. So you will be able to use the new features on these models and you'll also be able to use camera assistant module itself on these listed Galaxy phones over here. Now you can see the latest version is 3.0.00.2 and the new features include the HDR10 plus option. Basically that's a toggle which has been added. And we also have save videos to external storage. Now I will be talking about both these features, but before we go ahead, let me show you that on the Galaxy S25 series, we already have these features enabled. Let me bring the Galaxy S25 Ultra over here. And here, let me open camera assistant module. Now let me scroll all the way down. Let me also open this application on the Galaxy S24 Ultra as well. I'll scroll all the way down. Here you can see we have got an option HDR plus, which is on the Galaxy S25 series. And here on the Galaxy S24 series, we do not have that HDR plus option. We don't see that here. Let me check this, I'll scroll down. This is right after anamorphic lens correction option. Yep, we do not have that feature on the Galaxy S24 series or any other models as of now. For now, we only have this on the S25 series, S25, S25 Plus and S25 Ultra. And you can see the second option, save videos to external storage. This will automatically save the videos to an external storage device connected to the USB Type-C port on your phone, compatible with video, pro video, uh, portrait video, slow motion, and hyperlapse modes. Now, this is actually a brilliant feature. I will demonstrate this to you in a bit. Let me also talk about the HDR Plus option. Now, you can see we don't have it here. What this does is this will optimize the color and contrast of videos recorded in video and pro video modes. Requires HDR to be turned on in camera settings as well under advanced video options. So let's go to the camera settings here. Let me open camera and I will tap on the menu option here, go to the settings. And here under advanced video options, we have got HDR, which I have already turned on. And now here under camera settings, if you go to the camera assistant settings, you will see this option which can be enabled HDR plus this optimizes the color and contrast of the videos recorded in video and pro video modes. So it is a brilliant feature now available for the previous models as well. Let me know if you have it or not. Now let me go ahead and uh, update this application. Let me tap on update. It's updated. I'll open the application. Now we should be able to see this option. Let's scroll all the way down. I'm able to see save videos to external storage feature, which is new and I don't see this HDR option yet. Let's first go to the camera and then let's enable, let's go to the settings here. I will enable HDR option under advanced video settings. So we have got this feature by default HDR plus videos, whereas on the Galaxy S25 series, let me tap on this. Uh, let's check if we have this under the settings here, advanced video options. Now here on the S25 Ultra, we only have HDR option. Whereas under advanced video options on the S24 Ultra by default, we have got HDR plus, HDR 10 plus videos, which is available. Now we can enable this right here. I don't know, it's a bit confusing because HDR plus videos is not available on the S25 Ultra. It is integrated now into camera assistant module. So we have to go back to the camera assistant and then we will be able to uh, enable this camera uh, HDR plus option, HDR 10 plus option. Whereas here, it looks like by default, the setting is available on the camera settings itself. 
Now it's enabled, let's go back here to the camera settings. Uh, let's tap on camera assistant. Now I still do not see this HDR10 plus option on the camera assistant here on the S24 series. Whereas on the S25 series, now we can see this option under camera assistant settings, not under the default video settings on the camera application. And I don't really recall whether this option was available on the default camera settings on the S24 series or not. In any case, we have got the HDR10 plus option here on the S24 series and we also have uh, under camera assistant settings, we also have got the all new feature that is the save videos to external storage feature. Now let me demonstrate this to you guys how exactly this feature works, the save videos to external storage option. Let me use the Galaxy S25 series here. Now I have already enabled save videos to external storage option. What I'll now do is, I'll use this adapter to connect this USB drive. Let me connect this to the phone and I'll show you guys how exactly this works. Now the external storage is connected. Now I have enabled the save videos to external storage option. Now whenever I take video, let me tap on video recording. Now this video will get saved directly onto the external drive that you have connected. Let me tap on stop. Now this video is available. Let me tap on this video here. Let me go to the details. Now here you can see it says no date information. It is showing the storage, USB storage under camera option. Now let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and open the files application, my files. Now here we have got internal storage as well as USB storage which I have connected here. Let me open this and we have got DCIM. The video that I just created is available right here. You can see 5th March 2.58 p.m. Let me open this. This is the video which I just created and that is directly saved onto this drive here. Now that is how the save videos to external storage feature works. Whenever your phone's memory is full and you still have some important videos to take, then all you can do is just connect a USB drive. Even an external hard disk would work. All you need to do is just connect it to the phone, either through a USB Type-C cable, or if you have a Type-A memory card or memory stick, you can just use the uh, adapter and connect it to the phone and start taking the videos. It will directly save it onto that drive if you have enabled this specific feature, save videos to external storage on your Galaxy phone. A very nifty feature that we have got here. I'm sure it will be useful for some of you folks out there. Now this is the brand new update that we have now got on the Galaxy uh, S24 series and the rest of the predecessors. And this was already available on the S25 series. And if you have just bought the Galaxy A56 series, you would also get this option. So go ahead, check it out. Be sure to download the update and start using these features. That's about it. That's all I want to share with you guys. I hope you have already downloaded our wallpaper paper application Volvers. If you haven't done it yet, go ahead, download it and applied this particular wallpaper from Volvers application itself. You can see this is available under a free section. I have recently added this. You can go through the application. The link to download this application is available in the description. There are some brilliant wallpapers available on the application, both free and premium. Go ahead and try it out. Thanks for watching. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel and do not forget to hit that like button for this video if you find this video informative. That's about it. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh,